All right, Shalom. <clears throat> we'll get started. Just hold on here. All right. So All right, so all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukaku Dash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hope we let out there. All right. And this lesson is entitled Sound Doctrine is Not Atlantis, Sasquatch, and Flat Earth. Bugged out. Bugged out. If you believe in those things, you are bugged out. Now, let's just go here. What this lesson is going to be is we're going to deal with comments, some comments, uh, question, you know, questions, some comments, or a couple of questions and some comments. And I don't even know where to start. This shit is ridiculous. Anyway, first, we're going to go to. Let's read a few scriptures. Now we're going to start in Titus chapter 2, verse 1. All right, just give me a second here to get started. <clears throat> All right, so this is Titus 2, verse 1. It says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. All right, let's look at that. We know what doctrine is, but let's look at sound. All right, the word sound. And this is what we're told to do. Speak out of things which become sound doctrine. Here's the word sound. Strong's G, 5198, Hugiaino. Hugiaino. Hugiaino, it says sound, be sound, be whole, whole, wholesome, be in health, safe and sound. To be sound, to be well, to be in good health. Metaphor, and it says of Christians, but of course Israelites, of Israelites, whose opinions are free from any mixture of error. And that's the thing with Jake. Jake loved to do what I call blending. Bunch of different multiple doctrines. You take a little bit of uh, fairy tales and folklore and fiction. And you mix all of it together and you try to put it in with the Bible. Of, of Israelites whose opinions are free from any mixture or error. Of one who keeps the graces and is strong. Here it says to have sound health, i.e. be well in body. So you want a doctrine that's well, you know, well, uh, sound doctrine. You want something pure, not mixed in with BS, man. And a lot of these doctrines make people bug out because you start believing in all kind of fairy tales. It says here to be uncorrupt, true in doctrine, be in health, be safe and sound, be wholesome. And that's what it means. Sound doctrine. You want wholesome to be you want the truth. Without all that bug out shit. That's why we tell you about them other books. But Jake does not listen. Anyway. Titus 2 and 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Right? That the aged men may be. That the aged men be sober. Grave. Temperate. Sound in faith. In charity and patience. Right? The aged women likewise. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Not false accusers. Not giving them much wine. Teachers of good things. And it means what? As the other scripture says, they may teach the other women, you know, how to be good wives, that type of thing. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. Young men likewise exhort to be sober minded. That's what it's all about. Sound doctrine. Be sober-minded. Don't be drunk off the philosophies of the world. Don't be drunk off a of false doctrine, right? Let's also get another here real quick. And then we start getting to this stuff. This is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. And it says right here, preach the word. That's the main focus, preaching the word so that the elect can be edified and saved, right? Because they already been sealed, but you want to preach the word so that the elect may be uh, awakened. Anyway, 2 Timothy 4 and 1, it says, I charge thee therefore before the Most High, 
and the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And that's a big problem with Israelites. They have itching ears. It's all kind of crazy doctrines. And as the brother said, as you see from the title, damn Sasquatch, <laughs> Atlantis, what else? Uh, Flat Earth. There's a lot of things. It's, it's just more mermaids, leprechauns, shit like that. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Let's look up fables real quick. Because a lot of this shit is just fables, man. And you see the Greek word is mythos. And you know what a myth is. Or it says muthos. Strong's G, 3454. Muthos. Muthos. Muthos, which is like the word mythos. It says a speech word saying a narrative story, a true narrative, no, a fiction, a fable. Right, that's what it is. They shall be turned into fables, fiction and fables, an invention, a falsehood, a tale, i.e., fiction, myth, fable. That's what you gotta watch out for because Jacob slipped some shit. See, the thing is, is Esau, man. With all these crazy ass books and these false doctrines, and Jake with that that itching ears and that mind you want to search and be deep, them deep demons that get you. Have your ass off somewhere bugged out, man. Bugged out. As you're gonna see. Okay. So as it says here, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. So let's get the first example. Um now I get a few of these off the comment board. Uh this is Fisher turned Hunter. Titus 113. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound. Sound. Remember that word? In the faith. Not giving heed to Jewish fables and doctrines of men that turn from the truth. That's what it's designed to do. To mess you up, mess your head up, man. Make you turn from the truth. All right. Yeah, this is also a good scripture to read. GMS the elect prevails, 2 Timothy 2:15. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. And if Jake just learned how to study, just look up stuff. You could you could bust right through most of this shit, man. You know it. You really Jake know deep down that most of this shit that they're asking is not true, but they want to ask you anyway, you know. Trying to be fucking deep. And you just look like fools in the process. Now, I'm going to go and bring this first thing up. Let's grab this. So I was, and this didn't come from, me, from my comment board. This came from Elder Kazak's comment board. And I had this for weeks, but I just now decided, you know, the most I just put the spirit on me to go into it. All right, so let's, let's blow it up a little more here. And a lot of you guys are just live stream Israelites. You ain't really no brothers. You ain't really intending on ever going out and preaching the gospel or learning and trying to be teachers. All you do is when you see a live stream, you jump your ass on the live stream and start posting scriptures and comments like you a brother, but you don't intend on doing the work. A lot of guys do that shit, man. And we see you niggas. We see you. We know you know who you are. You're supposed to be in the truth to, to teach, to raise up other, you know, other brothers and sisters, man. Not to just come on here and try to act like you fucking deep. Anyway. This is from Elder Kazak comment board a few weeks back. He did a live stream. I was I was uh moderating it. And when I saw this comment pop up, I just I just screenshot it and I thought I would do a lesson in it on it. So this guy and Anon Anarchy. And see, and when you guys will pop up on the comment board, but then when you during the week when or a weekend when camp time to teach, where you niggas at? You ain't nowhere, you ain't got no camp, you on you on uh you ain't even going to set no cap up. You ain't you ain't intending on teaching the word of nothing. You just want to be on the live. Oh, I missed the live stream. You just, just be quiet, man. A lot of guys are full of shit. You ain't really about this truth. You just some Johnny come lately. Now, this guy in non-anarchy, he said, is Atlantis biblical? 
And then he said, do you think any of the inhabitants of Atlanta survived? So if you're going to ask the second question, then you obviously believe that there's, that Atlantis was real. Well, why didn't you just look it up? You got all this technology, all these damn books. You got all the internet. Why didn't you just go look it up yourself? You got to ask somebody if that shit really exists. You ain't never heard Great Millstone going to no fucking Atlantis, man. Never at any time. Now, there's been tell. I don't know this, but we've heard that GOCC said something about Atlantis or teach that or something, man. I don't know. So, again, let's just. But Israelites to do that, though, trying to be deep. Is Atlantis biblical? Do you think any of the inhabitants of Atlantis survived? If I had a question like that myself, what I would do is, and it, it ain't really no problem asking, but damn, man, you know, all during the week, we got videos. Jake don't never ask these questions on the videos. They don't come on the comment board. What they do is they'll wait till the live stream come up and then ask on the live stream. That's what they like to do. But, you know, there's certain individuals that come on the comment board. We see you, man. You, you weird. You're a little out there, and we might not have said anything, but we noticed you. Just hold tight here, because I got an uh, entry up here. I'm trying to find it. Um, Damn, I know I look this. Oh, you know what? Hold up, y'all. All right, well, let's just do this. Yeah. Let me share this screen. Right, Elder Pascal Bar said it. How in the hell does that edify to the knowledge of salvation? It doesn't. It doesn't at all. And you know what? I'm glad you're here because I'm going on your comment board on your Book of Enoch video. That's where the main, <laughs> main subject matter is coming from. So I was reading your comment board and I was just getting mad at all the bug outs. It just, it's ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. But you know, that's what it is. Bug outs are attracted, you know, when you go into certain lessons. And the other possible bar and the other apostles. Elder Pastor Haron down, Elder Pastor Bar as well. They always push this, these scriptures like these daily edification, daily exhortation, Hebrews 6 and 9. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak. That's what it's all about. It's all about salvation. And if it doesn't, like the uh, Elder Apostle said, how in the hell does that edify? The knowledge to the knowledge of salvation, and it doesn't knowing if Atlantis existed. But all this guy had to do just go, just go and look it up. Just look up Atlantis. Yeah, let me see. Say Lost City. And like I said in the past, uh, in a past lesson, Elder Pastor Hart and the other apostles they never went into no Atlantis breakdown. All right. So when you go there, you just go to Wikipedia. And you have to just research this this stuff. It's not it's not hard. Now I'm getting a whole bunch of different stuff. All right, and I had this one to pull up. I must have closed it by accident. Anyway, if you go and look up Atlantis on Wikipedia, right? And I mean, you you you're gonna get some disinformation. Don't get me wrong. All right, right here it says Atlantis, ancient Greek island of Atlas is a fictional island mentioned in an allegory on the hubris of nations in Plato's works. That's about all you need to read. When you see this word fictional right here, the next thing you do, and, and you hover over it, it'll give you what they say. Fiction generally is a narrative form in any media consisting of people, events, or places that are imaginary. You hear that? Imaginary. In other words, not based strictly on history or fact. Now we can go a little further than that. Let's go. Uh, let's drop this window. I actually looked up the word fiction. Look, and you know another thing that you notice when you go into stuff like this, <laughs> all the deep demons start popping out. Look, like like we you know like I know you, Ock. You know Ock. Is there a lesson on who King James is in this bloodline? Have you repented yet, man? Have you repented yet? Because on your avatar you got dreads. Dreads is going. You got blonde dreads. Dreads is going off. You worrying about King James bloodline. You ain't even repented yet. Why are you worrying about that, man? Things that accompany salvation, salvation, salvation. That's what you should be worried about. This is what we're talking about. Jake be doing too much, man. You ain't even, I'm sure that, when you going to teach, man? Get yourself together. You don't have to worry about King James bloodline. That's the type of stuff we talk about, man. You can beat your head up. <laughs> 
Forgive me, y'all. Salakia. And I got this scripture, but we'll read it now. Elder Apostle Gobar put it up. Daily edification, daily exhortation. Ecclesiastes 3.21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. And it goes on to say, but what is commanded of, of thee, think upon those things with reverence. The commandments, the laws, the statutes, learning who you are. You worry about King James bloodline. What about your bloodline? Are you even a J? We do, we serious about the truth, man. We're teaching the truth to help, to help the Israelites get salvation, to help you repent. Anyway, the word fiction, when dealing with Atlantis, fiction. it says literature in the form of prose, especially short stories and novels that describes imaginary events and people. Everybody understand that? Invention or fabrication as opposed to fact. It's fake. Fiction is fake, man. So when you get into the thing about Atlantis, let's read a little more here. It says a belief or statement that is false, that is often held to be true because it is expedient to do so. With all these, Jake watching Aquaman and watch these different things, you start believing that stuff. Then you hear these Israelites and other different people saying that Atlantis existed. Let me say this. There was civilization that were not written about in the Bible specifically. But the four major empires are the ones that we focus on because it's, it's, it's things we can prove. Sodom and Gomorrah existed and it got destroyed. There are artifacts. It's written about in the scriptures, right? We know those things. We can verify that stuff. Uh, <laughs> Elder Apostle Barr said, as far as I know, King James did not go on the cross to ensure salvation. Absolutely. And when you get into topics like these and the Elder Apostle Gabar, when he did the uh, Book of Enoch video, other crazy all types of crazy Israelites pop out of the woodwork, start asking all kind of stuff. Notice the title. We ain't never seen this guy a day in our life. Sound doctrine is not Atlantis, Sasquatch, and Flat Earth. Here I am. <laughs> Shalom, El He said, Jake said he saw Sasquatch. He would probably shack. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm glad to see y'all. Anyway, so we read the definition of fiction. So in the scriptures, nowhere does it mention anything about Atlantis. If any, if any apostle, elder brother, big brother, any other brother, if you ever seen Atlantis in the scriptures, please put the scripture. I know you have it. I'm just saying it's not there, man. OK, now, like I was saying, there are civilizations and things that happen that are not written of. Why do we need to worry about it, man? Why do we need to worry about that? And there are no mermaids and let's let's just get to it i don't want to do too much rambling i just want to kind of hit this stuff and you know hit it and quit it so i'm gonna go and read that scripture that elder possible bar put up in this entirety i got it pulled up just let's read that because see when you go to it it said in, in uh on wikipedia that atlantis was damn fiction man shit is fiction it's fake now if we get to the kingdom we find out that <laughs> there, there really was a lost city of atlantis then okay so fine no problem. But this is the thing with all that equipment that Esau got. They tell you that they they, they, they we might know what Atlantis is. It's sunk. It's over here next to this place, that place. Why they ain't got no artifacts from it then? Why don't they have something? See, when you start looking for stuff, yeah, yeah, bro. When you start looking for stuff, Esau provided. See, I have the trident, the lost trident from Atlantis. I found they get an old, you know, an old pitchfork and put it through some. You know what I mean? Rub it around the dirt and put rust on it and tell you they found that shit under the sea. Man, you can't believe that stuff, man. And these other books. So this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3. In verse 20. And I'm going to start at 21. It says, Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. Why are you worrying about all the things that ain't, ain't got nothing to do with nothing? Knowing King James' bloodline is not going to help you get into the kingdom of heaven, man. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. What's been commanded of us? What's been commanded of us is that we keep the, the ways of the Heavenly Father, first and foremost, that we have faith, right? All these things that accompany salvation, like as the elder apostle put the scripture up. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence. You got to think upon the things the Most High commands of us. Think upon that stuff with reverence. You worrying about this. You ain't even cut your dreads. You ain't repentant. Your ass still smoke. A number of other things. You worrying about if King James is, can we trace his bloodline? Even if we could do it, 
Esau didn't, you know how Esau is, man. He didn't bury stuff. This is a thing of faith. And all that E1, B1, A, you know, all that, you know what I'm saying? That DNA and shit, you, that, that ain't going to get you nowhere. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Some things are secret and the most high withheld them from us because we don't need it at this current time. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Okay? So we shouldn't be concerned with unnecessary matters, such as King James. Can we trace his bloodline, right? Does Atlantis exist? Even if it did exist, what good is it going to do you, knowing that it existed? Solomon Gomorrah existed. It got destroyed. Is, is that helping you? Now, we go to it and we reference it because this is spiritual Sodom now. Knowing what not to do can help you. But then it, one thing is going to lead to another thing, to another thing, to another thing. Jake is never satisfied with the simplicity which is in the, in the Bible. This is our GMS Vegas sit down, 2 Timothy 4 and 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they shall heap themselves teachers having itching ears and shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And we went through that, but I want to read it again. This is also um, GMS in the Truth Orlando, Ecclesiastes 7 16. Be not righteous over much. Neither make thyself overwise. That's a problem. Don't be overwise. Don't be too deep. Be one deep. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? As the scriptures say, uh, hast thou found honey? Eat so much that it's sufficient for thee. Unless you eat too much, then you're going to vomit everything up. Excellent scripture. GMS Saints of the Most High, Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High. And keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And these are the things that you think upon with reverence. That's what's been commanded of us. Daily edification, daily exhortation, Titus 3 and 9. But avoid foolish questions <laughs> and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Absolutely. Uh Brother Zahab got Revelation 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Hey, Yahweh, I got to, you know, the most I got to choose you. Yahweh, I got to deal with you, man, in order for you to get this truth. You worry about stuff that ain't got nothing to do with anything. The scriptures is rolling now. Daily edification, daily exhortation, 1 Timothy 1 and 4. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which minister questions. Rather than edly, rather than godly edifying, which is in faith, so do right. And these questions, we're using it for edification. And I thought about it. I said, man, this some of this stuff is bugged out, but it can be used for edification. And it's, it's cautionary to you, brothers and sisters out there, what not to do, what not to be trying to get into it. Absolutely. Elder Apostle Gabar said it. Endless genealogies, King James bloodline. <laughs> That's right. Yep. All right, so let's let's move on to the next thing. Uh, in uh, Elder Hawaii, I got one too. This is our uh, GMS North Carolina, Ecclesiastes twelve and twelve. And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. And even when you go into the Josephus, as far as the history is concerned, it doesn't mention anything about Atlantis. Not that you would go by that, but it's a historical document that you might cross reference with. It doesn't mention anything about. No damn Atlantis. GMS in the truth, Orlando. Proverbs 25, 16. Has thou found honey? Eat so much as, it, as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Plain. Remnant save, Elder Yashawama. Proverbs 13, 16. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. Man, come on. So let's go here. Um. So we're going to go to Elder Apostle Bar's comment board now. All right. From his video. Which, I, like I said, I was just reading it. And it was just getting on my nerves. I was like, some of this stuff we could, we could actually go into. So this is Elder Apostle Bar's video. Book of Enoch, indeed, LOL. We have the Holy Bible and Apocrypha, and that's enough. That is enough. And he was doing a response to Elder Yashawama's video. HODC teaching from Book of Enoch, Book of Jubilees, right? 
Now here in the description, it says the Israelite bug out train just keeps chugging down the cricket track. <laughs> and I would agree. So I went to the comment board and I was looking at the comments and I just noticed this one guy. Weirdo, super weirdo. So let's read this brother comment, Mr. Invisible. And then this guy, New Earth Son, stop kissing ass. The book of Enoch is crap, but don't act like this guy made any sense. Saying that we do not need knowledge to be saved. The Gnosis saves. And we're going to look that word up. Let's get some more of this crazy, crazy dude uh, comments. First, this other guy, Gaming Sasquatch. And I've seen this, this comment on more than one video. I don't know who this person is, but he says, I've seen Sasquatches a lot. Were they on Noah's Ark? And if not, can someone explain where they come from? So let me get it straight. You want us to explain some shit, go out on a limb and explain some shit based upon what you say you saw? We don't know if you saw that. He's saying this was there Sasquatches on, on Noah's Ark. <laughs> he said, let, let's read it again. He says, I've seen Sasquatches a lot where they own Noah's Ark. And if not, can someone explain where they come from? Why you didn't give us a picture? You Why you didn't give us a photo of what you've seen? You're saying you've seen Sasquatches. Now, for those that don't know, and I can't imagine that you don't know, but I, I got something here. Just a, a quick reference. <laughs> Man, people are crazy. You got a lot of people out there in the world that just mentally is just not right. Now this from Wikipedia, it says Bigfoot, right? All right, when you read it, it says Bigfoot, also commonly referred to as Sasquatch. In Canadian and American folklore, is an ape-like creature that is purported to inhabit the forests of North America. Supposed evidence of Bigfoot's existence is based on a number of anecdotal visual sightings, disputed video and audio recordings, photographs, casts of large footprints, etc. Some of these are speculated or known to be hoaxes. Bigfoot has become an icon within the fringe subculture of cryptozoology and an enduring element of popular culture. Folklorists trace the figure of a Bigfoot to a combination of factors and sources, including folklore surrounding the European wild man figure. You know, it's just more and more dumb as you go on. Folk belief among Native Americans and loggers and a cultural increase in, an envir in environmental concerns. The majority of mainstream scientists have historically discounted the existence of Bigfoot, considering it to be the result of a combination of folklore, misidentification, and hoax rather than a living animal. And you really need to go no further than go back in the scriptures to the accounts of creation. You can even go on back and read in Noah's art. It never said anything about no damn half man, half beast type of individual covered in hair. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Show us the photo. You see, you know, because it was a guy that was coming on the comment board one day. And this might be the same dude. Whenever you did videos about Esau, this guy would come on there and say, Esau the, is the feral people of the wilderness. It's not the white man. You know, <laughs> all kind of stuff like that, man. <laughs> uh, the other possible boss say you see a lot of things you puff at that blueberry kush <laughs> Woo, can't make it up man Jim S. Vegas sit down and say he must have been on that manor magic mushrooms right <laughs> you got some bugged out people man all the brothers laughing at these guys man cause this shit is weird and it may be some of them in the background watching, getting mad, but it's all right. Go ahead and go ahead and get mad. Yeah, he was on the magic mushroom, man. Oh Lord, what what is this guy saying, man? I thought OG survived the flood too. What is OG? <laughs> Throw us one. What is OG? <laughs> anyway, let's go here to uh. I just pulled up a scripture. Let's get Genesis. Because the guy asked, was it was they on the ark? Was was Sasquatch on the ark? <laughs> so this is the, right here the account of the flood. Genesis 7 and 1. It says, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Now, now if 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 Sasquatch was on the ark, he would either be listed as the animals or he would be listed as one of the righteous people on the earth. <laughs> 
And I'm really just doing, you know, just this is stupid. So verse two says of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female and of every and of the beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. I mean, and then you jump here to verse eight, verse seven. It says, and Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his sons wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and everything that creepeth upon the earth. There went in two and two unto Noah unto the ark, the male and the female, as the most I had commanded Noah. So like it. Yeah, as the most I had commanded Noah. Now, that wouldn't be enough for some of these guys. But really, we just like to touch on it because it's really ridiculous. It's stupid. It's stupid. Yep, they said they said that about magic about the magic mushrooms that the, the, the uh, chariots came in and made them pop up. <laughs> they probably said UFO, UFO dropped it off. I mean, it's crazy, man. <sighs> so Atlantis and Bigfoot, Sasquatch, no. Okay, now at the end of the day, you may have anomalies and things happen. For example, people that grew up in in the woods in the forest, they may have been you know what's that thing called uh when families sleep together close relatives um i can't think of it man incest you might you have incest you have retarded kids come out and maybe might grow hair on their palms or whatever might be living up near some nuclear reactors and have them lumps on their head or whatever but that that's not the same thing as saying there's an actual beast or a creature just like people ask you that uh are there mermaids well in the kind of creation there's no such thing as a woman fish or a man fish the most high didn't do things like that. While the most high is very intricate and detailed and high above our understanding, he's not a mad scientist, man. Now Esau might be doing a little shit and experimenting. We know that he does that. But as far as it being a righteous creation of the Heavenly Father, no, man. There's no damn Bigfoot. There was no Sasquatch. This is Jim S. North Carolina, Isaiah 30 and 10, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speaking to us smooth things, prophesy deceits. And that's what Jake wants. You want craziness, man. Deceits. Just stick to what you got. Basic, simple stuff to make you become better individuals. That's what the truth is doing. It's making us more responsible. It's making us, putting us on another level as far as knowledge, as far as human beings are concerned. That's what the Most High is going to do with his elect. Not saying we are the elect. Lord willing, we are. But if you stand this truth and you make it to the end, man, you're going to come out on the other side. Fine gold, man. You worrying about all this stuff. GMS Vegas sit down. Second Peter 116. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables in, in Atlantis and Bigfoot and mermaids and leprechauns. Those are cunningly devised fables, man. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Right. And there were accounts, you know. Things that Yahweh did, just like when we go deal with the flood and Sodom, excuse me, Sodom and Gomorrah, and those places, you know, ancient history of the that's in the Bible. Hey, we can go there now to Sodom and Gomorrah and find gypsum and uh, you know, uh, uh, what's the stuff called, man? Dog on it, gypsum and uh, brimstone and different different elements that was over there. But the Most High rained down from heaven. We know those places existed. So let's go here. So we're going to go back to that comment board. And I'll come back and read some more of your, more of your brother's scriptures as well. Jim is uh, North Carolina. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Right. The Most High didn't make a man, half man, half beast. This big nine foot tall man covered in hair all over. He can't even talk. You know, what was the point? All the nations are identified in the scriptures, man. There is no nation of Sasquatch. Daily edification, daily exhortation, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus 3.23. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shown unto thee than men understand. Right. Don't try to be deep. We understand that we're the Israelites. We understand that who Esau, Edom is. Don't try to be some, some, some deep person. That's, that's all it is. 
Jay just want to hear something new. The word is never, it's just never enough. Absolutely. And we see it time and again. So we dealt with this person, Gaming Sasquatch, which I didn't even go to the, to the person's page. It's pointless. All right, when you get here, um, I don't know if that was a comment that I wanted. Yeah, this guy, New Earth Sun, which you're going to go to his page. Um, he says, why your so-called elder saying one could be a prophet but have zero knowledge of astrology and numerology and divination, which the scriptures talk talk against divination. What the fuck is this guy talking about? And numerology. We, I've done lessons on that. Astrology, numerology, and divination. None of which, none of those things would get you salvation. And the brother was like putting scriptures, cutting the guy. Then he comes here. Uh, he says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. He put up Hosea 4 and 6. He says, the opposite is that. I don't know. He says, Gnosis builds you up. And the brother just laughed at it, man. He just laughed at it. And then he says here, L L uh, L M A O what? I did not stutter. I quoted scripture. Gnosis builds you up. So let's go look up this word Gnosis because the dude keep throwing it around. He's one of those Gnostics or whatever. And he thinks that Gnosis builds you up. The scriptures don't say that. The scriptures don't deal with no damn Gnosis, man. But just wait until we, when we look this up, you're going to see it's just ridiculous. Because I looked it up earlier. But then I started getting short on time. You know how sometimes you look up stuff on your phone, which I should have been on this computer looking it up when I, I would have had it, you know, saved. But I kind of looked it up on my phone and then forgot about it. But I was anxious to go ahead and get the lesson started because it was getting late. So y'all just hold on here. All right. So now we over here. Come on, Wendell. So this guy going on about Gnosis deals you up. Here's the word. Come on, thing. Work. You can see my computer kind of moving slow. All right, here it is. Gnosis. All right, so the word is Gnosis, right? It says knowledge of spiritual matters. <laughs> I'm sorry knowledge of spiritual mysteries now you can get knowledge of mysteries or to understand the mysteries through the holy spirit but just some something called gnosis no we said what does gnosis mean let's go here esoteric knowledge of spiritual truth and i think the word esoteric goes back to the word hidden if i'm not mistaken we can look that up esoteric knowledge of spiritual truth held by the ancient gnostics to be essential to salvation so he thinks that you got to know some some deep mystery that no one knows in order to get salvation. It says here, what do Gnostics believe? The Gnostics in their reading of scripture acknowledge no such debt, but they believe that the Hebrew Bible was written, was the written revelation of an inferior creator God, uh, Demiorgos, filled with lies intended to cloud the minds and judgment of the spiritual human beings, uh, pneumaticoi you and that's enough if they don't believe in the, in the bible what are we what are we talking for what are we talking for you know the nazis in their reading of scripture acknowledge no such debt for they believe that the hebrew bible was written was the written revelation of an inferior creator god what in the hell filled with lies intended to cloud the minds and judgment of the spiritual human beings so in other words the Bible wasn't given to us for our help. It was given to confuse us by the most high, by an inferior creator God is what that said. You see? Bugged out, man. Let's go here to uh to the Wikipedia thing. It says here, Gnosis, in the common Greek noun for knowledge, the term is used in various Hellenistic religions and philosophies. It is best known for Gnosticism where it signifies a knowledge or insight into humanity's real nature as divine. So in other words, we're, we're the gods leading to the deliverance of the divine spark within humanity from the constraints of earthly existence, which you really just being proud when you start getting into all that. You think you know better than the most high man, the Lord going to destroy people like that, man. And, and really it make you fearful when you even start reading that. That's crazy. We ain't on the most high level like that, man. Shit. Make you, you know, most of I mess your ass up. Look, we knew the earth is flat. Where your scriptures at? Put some scriptures up to prove that the earth is flat. Because we're going to go into that. 
some of the stuff that y'all use, which is ridiculous. It's stupid. That's right, El Yashawami said. We will get all that understanding on the right-hand side of the kingdom. It's all tainted. Over here on this side of flesh, your vessel can't hold all that. You in sinful flesh. You in sinful flesh right now. You can't hold all that knowledge that the Most High going to bestow upon us. You can't get it in this in this this uh in this flesh suit. You too defiled, man. Jim S. Vegas sit downs. We already have the mysteries of the kingdom. Jake want more trying to haste above the Most High. Absolutely, trying to be above the Lord, man. As you see that whole Gnostic shit. Absolutely, pure blasphemy. Sodom's children, Virgin Island Straight Gate, Proverbs two and six. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Boom. Destroy it. Elder Apostle Gabar, James 121. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness, not pride, meekness, the engrafted word. Where is it found? In the Bible. What does it do for you? Which is able to save your souls. That's the point. Trying to be deep. And this guy goes on. He goes on a rampage on the comment board, man. GMS North Carolina, Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge, where's the wisdom and knowledge found? In the Bible. Shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Knowledge of the Bible. That's right. Now let's go back to this comment board because there's more. That dude is completely gone, man. I want y'all to see this stuff that he's saying. Okay, so we went to the, so he's one of them guys, Gnosis, right? Now, before we get to it, this guy, Cannon, another person that we see on the comment board, mo mainly on live streams and other stuff, which when it's time to teach or go to camp, you don't see Cannon nowhere. Is anyone aware of the Northern Kingdom Book of Mormon doctrine? Yeah, we are. I did like five lessons on it over a year ago, destroying all that shit. You got Israelites teaching this stuff. They tie Ezekiel 37 to two sticks to say that both kingdoms have their books. Also going as far to say that the Book of Mormon is half witnesses with the Bible being the other. Why would you ask that? Unless you obviously start to lean up to that way of understanding. You think that that's true? That shit is dumb, man. The Mormon, you see what you see this Israelites is asking this shit. You know why? Because Big Judah is teaching out of the Book of Mormon. He he's teaching something like that. We got everything we need in this book. The most high goes against those other books. But why, why is Jake asking us about that that shit? But you see what video is on? All the bug eyes manifest when you go into a lesson like that. Bug eyes just come out of nowhere. So these, these people that you see on this comment board is asking these outlandish questions. Mark them in your mind. When you see them, you know who you're dealing with. That's canon, New Earth Sun, Anon, Anarchy. Watch these people, man. They tie Ezekiel 37 to two states to say that both kings have their books. Yeah, but also in the Book of Mormon, what does it say? It completely flips around uh, dealing with leprosy. You believe that too? We've been through that stuff, man. These 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 uh, live stream internet Israelites that don't don't got camp, they don't teach, they don't do shit. Just pop up on the on the screen. That's why we tell you, watch out. You know who who you're dealing with, because they have these people, man. They out of their damn minds. They tripping. Anyway, I did like I said, I did several lessons going against that whole uh, Book of Mormon. Israelites teaching from the Book of Mormon. You got a lot of false prophets, but see, these come from these blenders. They watch Great Millstone. They go watch these Israelites. They do that's the, them itching ears, man. That should have get you. So watch out. So here's a guy again, New Earth Sun. You do not have 100% truth. With them six exclamation points. You said the Earth is a globe. That is a lie according to Scripture. Well, where's your scriptures at? Where's your scriptures at, boy? <laughs> Like Thomas Ma said, where's your scriptures at, boy? You also said Israelites took over Rome after Nerva. Oh, yeah? Explain who Decius is. Valerian. Philip the Arab. Theodosius. GMS mixes truth with lies. You do not have 100% truth, just opinions. Well, so far, you ain't got nothing. All you're doing is giving opinions yourself, my nigga. You just know it's a nigga, man. And when you see this dude, Paige... We're going we're gonna to get to it. Now, I'll start laughing because Elder Yashavama came on and just asked him, where can we get the remainder of the truth from? You, where do you teach so we can get the understanding? Very perfectly fine question. Since he's saying we don't got it, okay, give us, show us where we can go. You're supposed to be so concerned about the flock. 
you a man of the Lord. So if we in error, you're supposed to be trying to help us out. You ain't no brother. He says, the Holy Spirit not working with you if you got to ask that. A bailout. The Most High did not gift you with a brain of discernment if you have to ask this silly question. What do you mean? You said we don't have the, we don't got the truth. So where, where is it? If we don't have it, he, Elder Yashwama comes back. Well, if you are telling us we don't have the full truth, at least offer a solution. You've been commenting for years that nothing has changed. It's the same stuff. Do you want a hug? <laughs> said, What's next? Outside of the flat earth, what do you have to offer and how can we get understanding? And that's a perfectly fine question. He ain't disrespected you. He ain't cussed you out. Maybe you should do less talking and more hearing and you will find out. Listening is an art. Yeah, but you ain't saying nothing, though. And the elder, elder Apostle Gabar said, the angel of death will give him a hug. <laughs> and he says, LOL, listen to you. Where do I get this great knowledge? We asking you guys, where's the great knowledge at, old deep teachers? And he comes back, he said, yeah, it's crazy how this truth affects people. They literally dedicate their lives to subscribing and scoffing. They don't have the balls to go proclaim what they truly believe, so they mock. And that's all it really is. Then this guy comes back, new earth son. The angel of death is going to give us all a hug, Gabar. No respect. LOL. You cursing out a prophet, but I think he meant to say not. You cursing out a prophet, not a prophet. Watch it, Gabar. Else the moist high fin of put hot fire on you. Oh my gosh. Then he says he and makes all these emojis. And man, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. So then he comes back and makes another comment. GMS, how about the oral tradition? Why you never talk about the oral tradition? Well, they do talk about the oral law that was in the beginning before the law was actually written. Whether you know it or not, but once the Lord gave us the written law, why do we need to have passed on things through oral? But he's talking about something completely different. He says, it's not only the Bible and the Apocrypha. When you do that, you put yourself in a box. The oral tradition is as strong as the scripture Bible. The Apocrypha and the other scriptures, listen to this crap, that are hidden under the Vatican and scattered that are lined together. The Gnosis saves Gabar. The Gnosis saves Gabar. Bugged out. Bugged out. We'll come back and read more. Let's get some of these brothers. Let's see if you got some scriptures. <laughs> Elder Apostle Gabar said, these clowns come out of their graves like the zombies in Michael Jackson's video thriller. Yep. With the same clothes on they've been buried in. Crazy as hell, man. Jim S. Vegas sit downs. Sirach 2213. Talk not much with a fool and go not to him that hath no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with madness. And that's why I say, and it's not a doggone thing of uh like these guys try to make it seem like you're running from them no man people like this that have mental illnesses this way you block these people and you remove their comments they never existed because they're going to keep doing this type of shit they do it to get attention man and they put those comments up to, to when when other brothers and sisters come and read your comment board they read that shit and they might get confused now at the end of the day they, ain't nobody will get confused unless the most high want them to but you know just saying so the other possible bar was like because the guy used all capital letters. He said, can you speak louder? I can't hear you. The guy comes back, all caps was on. Basically, it would be great to get your video and your perspective on how Emperor Constantine, who hijacked Christianity, then had his crew decide what was canon and what was not. Certainly, that has to raise a red flag. And we already covered that stuff, man. You can cover that by saying Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is the damn devil. And we know he removes, you know, added things, removed things here or there change history chip the noses off statues we've been over that elder um elder yashwama said gtfoh y'all know what that mean then he says it has got new earth son they say hebrew slave they they say a hebrew slave won't believe it unless it's written down or on tv bunch of imbeciles so now he's exalting himself above like he's he's special I ain't put no scriptures ain't prove nothing that he's saying he's just talking shit he, and then Elder Yashwama said, but you're here. We ain't there. You've been stalking our videos for years, but we have but we have the problem. Shaking my head. You need a woman. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. They do the same dude. All these many years, you see him pop up now and again. He says, I'm here to hijack, just like Simon of Magnus and Constantine, but in righteousness. You've been spitting hot lines for years. It's time for men to creep in unaware in righteousness and hijack your sheet, your sheets, some shit. And Elder Yashwama finally said, you need, you need to get counseling, brother. <laughs> the new earth sun comes back again on another comment. More books exist besides the Bible and Apocrypha. We know other books exist, but which ones are the books of the Lord? That's all we're concerned with. He says here, a lot are hidden under the Vatican. Since you've been under there and you know, those books were put together by wicked men in Rome who hijacked Christian Christianity and created Roman Christianity, a.k.a. Catholic Church. In particular, starting with Constantine and to Theodosius. Who gave those wicked men the authority to decide? Oh, he's asking the question. Who gave those wicked men the authority to decide what is canon and what is not? Especially those wicked men. And now my highlighter don't want to work. If a prophet or apostle is being led by the Holy Spirit today, he can write a book and add it to the Bible. What is the difference? What is this guy talking about? Bugged out. He makes another comment. Very stalkerish. GMS talks about the law of sacrificing being done away with. But the oral tradition, listen to this, in Haitian voodoo says you have to sacrifice to the LWA. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows, put it on the comment board. I don't know what the LWA is. GMS hooked on phonics. Niggas that learn to read. Where is the oral trad tradition? I watched y'all Passover videos. Your rituals are stiff and robotic. Zero spirit. Zilch. This from a guy who, who, who studies voodoo. Let's go to his page and we'll come back to that. This is his page here. I want, I want, I want to play something for y'all. So this is a uh, new earth sun. This is his page. Here's videos. Right. He made a video of two minutes. The last time he, he now he got the Holy Spirit. Now, last time he made a video was two years ago. And when he did make a video, he made a video entitled I'm done with YouTube. It's two minutes and 38 seconds. Let's listen to it. Let's see what his voice sounds like. So we can decipher if he's a man of the Lord or not. Come on, computer. I quit YouTube. Reason one. No <laughs> one is supporting this channel financially. So he used a robotic voice. You see that? Not showing his face. Use a robotic voice as it conceal his identity. Two years ago. We'll come back to that in a second. Yep. Definite demons, bro. Definite demons. It's just, just a bunch of dumb shit, man. Really. But you know, as I read, as I read the comment board, and I began to go to this guy page. I said, you know, it'd be good just to show this. And it was another guy, man, a Christian. This dude left about a nine-part comment, long ass comment, talk about Hebrew Israelites, how we teach this, and one West teach that. They talk about the UFOs, and they really just demons. I mean, just all this stuff. It's so much stuff. It will be, it would just take too much time to go through it and read it. It's, it's ridiculous. These Christians and these people are bugging out, man. They threw this truth, got them hurt. Great scriptures, brothers. Let me let me hit a few of these. This is um Vengeance of His Temple, which is the brother died garments from Basra, Proverbs 15 and 2. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge of right, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. And that's this guy. He didn't endorse Gnosticism and voodoo. Need we hear more? But I want you to listen to this video right here. It's, just, it's very short. Listen to Time this. Time is money, folks. If you want videos, you have to pay. Reason two. YouTube was dominated by children ages 12 to 17. Meaning these munchkins don't have financial power because they are kids and rely on mommy and daddy for support. Plus, these kids that are dominating YouTube were either not born when I started on YouTube in 2005, the same year IT was made, or were learning how to do long division. No. Not my scene. If your subscribers with fiat currency in the bank are serious about ME making videos, send ME $100 once a week to support ME. 
That means from each of my subscribers you will need to send me $5,200 each year or else I am not making videos. I am teaching and promoting truth and the only way I can know my message is being received is by financial support or fun. Yeah, that's enough. The guy, he used a computerized voice. He said you got to send him $5,200 a year or he ain't making no videos. What man of the Lord does that? Where you, where you see that at? I want to show you one more thing on this guy's page, then we'll go back to that comment board. Bugged out. Bugged out. All right, so when you go to his videos, he got one, my rebuttal to false apostle Gabar, the second in command of GMS camp. <laughs> and it's the same thing, computerized shit, man. He ain't using his real voice or nothing. Crazy, man. Crazy as hell. Now, there's a video here where he had, uh, just hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Anti-GMS troll army. He's trying to recruit other people to come on the comment board and troll, troll brothers. A call to all that are anti-GMS. Looking to recruit members to form a troll army to go on GMS chats every Saturday at 5 p.m. in order to take over their YouTube live chats. You see this shit? The YouTube channel that they post their message is GMS 34th and 7. Anti-GMS troll army. <laughs> Woo, hurt. You see it? Crazy is like the other possible bar says, nutty as a squirrel. Squirrel, what's it say? Squirrel poop. Nutty, man. I'm gonna put this link on the comment board if anybody wanna go and do a lesson just to show this bug out. Which it, this video was done three years ago. It's pretty pointless, but just so you know, there are real enemies out there bugged out. So that's his whole aim and goal, just to come on the comment board and just bring confusion, man. That's why I say block these damn demons, remove their fucking comments, and they don't exist. Take away the power that they that little bit of power they think they got. I'm not going to give you my platform to put up nonsense, man. You can die. You know? You can just die. Go away and just die on your own, man. Die die alone. Because ain't nobody going to sit there and go back and forth with these crazies. Hold on, y'all. Try to get back to the other apostles' video. And these people just hired. But you've never seen their face, so you don't know who they are. So when it comes to them guys like that dude, Gabriel, that make them videos with bugs fighting, no sound, you know, just him riding down the street with his camera filming whatever he drives, whatever he's going, wherever he is, the scenery where he's going. You don't know if it's this guy or some other person, man. A lot of people, a lot of liars in wait out there. That's why we be the way we are when guys come on the comment board and you ain't putting up nothing edifying and you just bringing confusion. That's why you get blocked. Cause we all about teaching the word. We ain't about no madness. It's crazy shit, man. Cause there's a lot of crazies out there. That's why Apostle Hart said no new members in GMS. Cause there's too many damn bug outs. You never seen this this level of bugging out. I've never seen this, man. <laughs> Finish. And that Apostle Bar said he's already dead from the neck up. Indeed. Just waiting on the physical death to manifest on these guys, man. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't got no women. GMS, ver oh, I'm sorry. Virgin Island Straight Gate, Isaiah 1 and 4. Ah, sinful nation. A people laid with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. Churches that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They are gone away backward. Crazy. And at this point, we don't know if this guy is an Israelite. We don't know if he's an Israelite or not. GMS Saints of the Most High, Proverbs 19.29. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. And the Most High going to bring that. Yahweh Shai is going to put that, put that out there on them. Daily edification, daily exhortation, Proverbs 21.16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. <laughs> and you got a lot of other bug outs right now in the background watching. They in the congregation of the dead. And we're not going to entertain you people. But now we're going to get to some more edification dealing off this dude's comments. Because that's why bug eyes love to pop up and say the earth is flat, this and that. Okay, what scriptures you got to prove that? 
because we can go to every one of them because we already know what you're going to say i pulled a couple of them up we, we, we're going to read some of them and show you their stupid logic how it doesn't make sense you got to be one of the most dumb people on the planet to walk around and keep talking about the earth is flat because they take words that are not meant to be literal they have to force it to try to make it seem like there's something there that's not excellent scripture jms vegas sit downs matthew 13 47 again the kingdom of heaven is likened to a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind which when it was full they drew the shore and sat down and gathered the good in the vessels but cast the bad away this truth is going to gather all kinds it's going to gather some bug outs and, and you know at the end of the day they're going to just get cast back that's all that's all it is no problem we know that we understand that very well acquainted with bug outs daily edification daily exhortation jude 112 these are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you feeding themselves without fear just like that other guy that was on here law lawlet or whatever his name was that dude been coming on the, on the apostles comment board like he a brother but he know he he disagree with what we teach he te he think the earth is flat why you been coming on our comment boards something is not connecting if i thought that the earth was flat I'm not gonna watch people that disagree with what I what I believe. I'm gonna say no, these guys ain't got the truth, but yet they keep watching. You doomed, bro. You are doomed. These are spots in your feast of charity, feeding themselves without fear. And all these bug outs are coming on the comment board. They're watching the videos of the apostles and brothers, and they're being edified daily. But then they ain't really they don't really believe. Like I said in the beginning, they doing that. They're watching the video, but they don't intend to be teachers. They ain't gonna open no camp. They ain't gonna do nothing. Clouds they are without water because they don't have the water. They don't have the living water. They don't have oil. Carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. When you twice dead, you was dead in sin and iniquity. You know you were Israelite now. You you know you got that little bit of life, and you're still in the truth. You're just a dead body, man. You're back in the congregation of the dead, and you're being carried about with winds. Every wind of doctrine blowing these people all about. So forgive me, brothers. Let's go on. I'm trying to get to the end of this. So back on this comment board. We dealt with Sasquatch. We dealt with the Mormon stuff. And some of this guy's crap. All right. So here, this dude went back and forth like 15 comments. He already made like 20 comments already. So he says here, New Earth Sun. So we looked at his page. We know he ain't wrapped too tight. He asking for money. He tried to recruit a troll army to come against brothers and come on the live chats and do all this stuff. He says here, also, the earth is flat with a dome and Antarctica is the ice ring. It is biblical, yet you ain't post one scripture. The sun and the moon revolves inside the earth. And I know what he meant. He meant inside of, he thinks that the firmament is a dome. That's what he thinks. Now, this brother, Humble Wisdom, said, you, sir, are a great supine protoplasmic invertebrate jelly <laughs> the earth is not a slow globe slow snow globe repent you nut the guy says back you are a nut gms flunky explain how the most High stopped the sun and moon for joshua but not the earth you do not even know that globe earth come from freemasons go home gms flunky gms does not save the gnosis saves oh lord this brother humble wisdom said you literally have created a playlist dedicated to haitian voodoo music therefore you cannot be taken seriously nor trusted to be an informative outlet your opinions of gms hold no weight especially when you're subscribed to one of the brothers of gms shaking my head you wretched lima bean and elder possible bar says oh man you should not insult a lima bean like that at least they taste good and have flavor unlike that crack pot and this dude just kind of hurled insults more insults we don't need to read uh he comes back but if the llama bean could talk it would say that the earth is flat with a dome but you so-called apostle and the rest of gms do not know that <laughs> he goes on gabar of gms stop lying the scripture says that the most high stopped sun and moon for joshua to fight if the earth is a spinning ball why not stop the earth do you even know how the globe model works debate 
He goes on. Gabar explained the four corners of the earth comments all over scripture. You guys call GMS. It should be G. What a mess. He's feeling himself. So let's deal with some of this dumb shit. This is dumb, but let's deal with it. Yeah, that's all it is. Might just be an agent sent to bring about confusion. Well, when he wanted to go recruit other people to join him, come on, take over there, you know, do all that. That's just a bugged out dude, man. So I want to read this <clears throat> from the brother. Harakar Shal War, Galatians 1 and 8. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. And it includes, if somebody say that, there's another part of the Bible, which is the Book of Mormon, and it's got the, the sticks in it. That's the other part of the doctrine. They are cursed. If they say Atlantis, if they say Sasquatch, if they say mermaids, if they say Gnosis or voodoo, they are cursed. Just like this guy is. He's Y'all can see it. Now let's deal with some of this madness. We're going to go to the to book of, just hold on here. Let's, we're going to go to Joshua. Because I get tired of seeing little stupid shit like this on the comment board. Easily explained. Easily explained. You know what? I should have went to Genesis first. Let's drop that. We're going to first go to Genesis. Because this is some of the stuff that the flat earth people try to use. And they're so damn dumb. It's right there. Genesis 1. Now, I've seen on the comment board, these flat earth people will go to Genesis 1 and they'll say in verse 14, right? Let's read that. And God said, and power said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. And let there be for signs and for seasons for day and for days and years. See, so when it says let there be lights in the firmament, these individuals believe that the firmament is a glass dome. They think that the firmament is a glass dome, and instead of, let me try to explain it right, because they're going to say I'm lying. They say the firmament is a glass dome over the earth, and that the sun and the moon is inside of this firm, is inside of this glass dome, and they revolve, I think they say they revolve around the earth instead of the earth revolving around it, something like that. Anyway, the main point being, they think the firmament is a glass dome, which the firmament is the ozone layer. It's not a glass dome. Now, all you need to do is go back to verse 8. And it says plainly, and the most high or in power called the firmament heaven. It's not a glass dome. The firmament is the atmosphere. It's the ozone layer. You, you know, it's not a damn glass dome. And, and the power called the firmament heaven. And the evening and morning were the second day. The firmament is heaven, bro. Not the heaven of heavens, but the atmosphere above the earth. That's all it is. It's not, it's not a, a, a glass dome. Just simple, simple reading shows you that. And you can read through it. You'll see different, you know, different things. There. Now, let's go to Joshua. Joshua. Chapter 10. Let's go there. And there's another scripture they try to use, too, to say that the earth has a dome over it. I'm going to show it to you if I, if I can remember where it's at. So this is Joshua chapter 10, right? It's a five kings attack Gibeon. This guy going on and on why the most high made the sun stand still. We're going to jump down to verse, verse 8. And Joshua and the, and the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew, slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon. And chased them along the way that goeth up to Bethoron and smote them to Ezekiel and unto Makeda. And it came to pass that they fled from Israel and were going in the and were in the going down to Bethoron, that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Ezekiel, and they died. The stones got through the dome. How did that happen? They were more which died with hailstones, and they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Stop right there. So, maybe I need to read a little more before I explain. 
Is not this written in the book of Jasher? Now, right here, a bug out to go crazy. Like the apostle, Elder Apostle Hart just said in his recent lesson, there is a book of Jasher, but we don't have it. The one that Esau threw together, it contradicts what's written in the scriptures. And just because a book is mentioned in the Bible doesn't make it part of the Bible. Big deal. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hastened not to go down about a whole day. There's no mystery here. Why did the Most High do that? So they remain daylight. What are the sun and moon used for? They're used for time, for telling time. That's why the sun and the moon is used. So the Most High made the sun stand still. He did it. So what? If the sun would continue to move, then it would have got dark. Then the moon would have came, right? That's the whole, that's that's it. There's nothing else there. Why the Most High made the sun stand still? What they got to do whether the earth is flat or a globe? As a matter of fact, if the earth was a, was a flat plane, it would just always pretty much be day. When could the night come? It will be the same time everywhere. But as it is now, today, right now, it's nighttime here. And another part of the earth is daytime. Why is that? Why is that? People are ridiculous, man. But let's let's go to the scripture that describes how the, how the moon and the sun will be used. And we read it in Genesis even. Now, I'm going to go back to the comment board. I see how the possible bar got some, some heat over there. So this is Ecclesiastes 43. The moon and the sun are for time. Ecclesiastes 43 and verse 5. It says, Great is the Lord that made it, and at his commandment it runneth hastily. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feast, a light that, a light that decreases in her perfection. The month is called after her name increasing wonderfully in her changing being an instrument of the armies above shining in the firmament of heaven you hear it now back here in this verse he made the moon also to serve in her season for a decoration of times and a sign of the world the only thing that happened with and i don't mean to make light of it the most high made the sun stand still so that the day would not progress because they was fighting he wanted to stay daytime that doesn't prove that the earth is flat what the hell these guys talk about why did he stop the earth? He stopped the moon. The moon is how we tell. I mean, the sun and moon is how we tell time, man. That has nothing to do with what the shape of the earth is at all. At all. It's ridiculous. We tell time through the sun and the moon. It wasn't always. You think uh, Abraham and them had watches and shit? They didn't have watches. They told time basically according to how the sun. That's how days progressed. The sun constantly moves, 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 and then it sets, and the moon comes, and it moves, 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 and then it sets, and then the sun rises. Jim S. Vegas sit-downs. James 3.15. This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. <laughs> For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. And these people are evil, man. Now, let's go back and look at this, see if I'll get the other possible bars comments y'all just hold on and we getting to the end now we're gonna read a few more things I missed all those comments <laughs> yeah man Did somebody mentioned the Truman show that's funny all this is funny the other possible bar said he is a he he knows he is a crackpot which is why he does not show his face nor share his voice at the very least, you can at least share your voice. Good Lord. The dude probably doesn't even speak English. He type English, but talking is different. If you were to look and listen to him, you would die laughing. And we all laughing inside of this madness. This is crazy. Ecclesiastes 19.29, a man may be known by his look and one that hath understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. And we can tell you don't have understanding because... You're not uttering any understanding, but if we was to meet you, we sure we would die laughing. Bernard Hodge, Isaiah 40, 22. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. But even with that, they, they won't, we've posted that scripture before. They just don't want to hear that. Now let's go and close some of these windows I got. So we dealt with the Joshua thing. Oh, y'all hold tight here. Because I got some windows open. I want to read here. Uh, let's close that. 
Okay. So he asked about the four corners. This is dumb. You do a word search on the four corners, right? He think they believe because of the 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 phrase the four corners are used, that means that the earth has four corners. It's a flat surface with four corners. <laughs> and further than that, they say that the earth is flat, it has four corners, it's got pillars under the earth holding up the holding up the tabletop earth with a dome over it. It's completely dumb, man. It's completely dumb. Now, when you look up four corners, right, it gives different things because there are buildings and structures going past that. But here in Ezekiel 7, I'm sorry, Isaiah 11 and 12, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather this get together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Ooh, see, four corners. It's four corners, brother. Hold up. Let's go to it. Four corners. They Richard really means just all over the earth. It's not talking about literal four damn corners, man. All right, so the word is knop. It says wing, extremity, edge. You know, it, it gives all these. Wing, extremity, skirt, corner of a garment, right? An edge or extremity. Of, now, listen to this. Of the earth, a quarter right of the earth a quarter what does that mean when you look into a quarter there are four directions north east south west right 25 percent of each one is a quarter the four quarters it's talking about directions it ain't talking about no damn corners like a tabletop we're going to prove that let's go back come on yeah all right so you see here four corners now even here in revelation 7 and 1 and that, that scripture gonna come and begin now if you look up four winds let's look that up because the show is talking about what direction jeremiah 49 36 and upon elam will i bring the four winds from the four corners of quarters of heaven and will scatter them toward all those winds and there should be no nation whither the outcasts of elam shall not come Ezekiel 37 and 9, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus said the Lord power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Four winds. Uh, I also want to read, and it's, it's a lot of them you can read, but I want to just get to uh, Revelation 7. If you, you can go and read them yourself. It's talking about four directions. I mean, we can read all these, but we don't really have to. Zechariah 2 and 6, ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, said the Lord. For I have spread your broad as the four winds of the heaven, said the Lord. All over the earth, four winds. Matthew 24, 31, he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, or from the four corners of the earth. That's the same thing, from one end of heaven to the other. Matthew 13, 20, I'm sorry, Mark 13, 27. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. It's just talking about directions and, and all over the earth. In its entirety, man. It ain't talking about no damn the earth got four four corners like a table. It's just stupid. And you know that just from reading and applying understanding, not, not trying to be deep. Four corners. Let's look at the corner right here. Strong's G 1137. Gonia. Gonia. Gonia, right? It says corner, right? An external angle of corner. Internal corner, i.e. a secret place, right here. An angle, corner, quarter, quarter, man. Four quarters, north, south, east, west. Not no damn corners on no table. What are you talking about, man? And if you know, and at the end of the day, man, everybody can't get it anyway. So it ain't, it ain't like, it's no big esoteric mystery, man. That's just it. North, south, east, west.
and when and and it was recently on the news there was an encounter between uh the american navy and the russian navy or the russian air force guess where in alaska right down the border with russia and america why because the earth is round and it connects that way because russia russia is all the way across going uh going east from america man if you're trying to say the earth is flat and the only way you can get to russia is all the way across, you gotta go all across america all the way across europe and on the other side over there is russia man there's no damn way elder possible bar says verb archaic go around something in a circular course the ship wherein Magellan can pass the world to go around. Absolutely. And he went back and put uh here. So lucky I missed this part. Daily edification, daily exhortation, Matthew 23, 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye can pass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. He said definition of compass is a verb go around something in a circular course. Quote the ship wherein Magellan can pass the world <laughs> to go around. And we know this stuff already. This is ridiculous. The water, though, that, that that's great. That's great. Now, just hold on, y'all. Brother making some excellent points. So again, yeah, and I want to get that scripture in Job too. Jake could tell you, but first, let's get this word pillars. We just put that. Because they got this 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 thing in their doctrine where they say that the earth is sitting on pillars, right? First Samuel 2 and 8, it says here, he raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's <laughs> and he has set the world upon them. So they think this proves and it, it does. It does say, you know, <laughs> for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them so that I had bug outs go to that. See right there. See right there. Cut. That's a cut. The earth is sitting on pillars. It said that the pillars of the Lord is sitting. There. The earth is sitting on pillars. Okay. Okay. What does this mean? Because they'll say you niggas saying the earth is a spinning ball. You know, how does it stand up there in the air? It's got to be sitting on these pillars. Well, this scripture says the greatness of power. Uh, Job 26 and 7. He stretched out the north over the empty place and hangeth the earth upon nothing. It's not sitting on pillars. So obviously when he said he hangeth the earth on the pillars, it wasn't talking about literal pillars. Because if that's the case, what are the pillars hanging on? Wouldn't they have a foundation? You got a tabletop flatter with a dome around it sitting on pillars which you say it's impossible that the earth could be hanging in midair like that and spinning and you can't feel it spinning but yet what are the pillars on you you won't get anywhere with these people man it's just dumb things like this that they're making into something that is not oh my gosh this brother said they think hades is under the pillars oh <laughs> oh boy this is ridiculous it's ridiculous. Anyway, when boats sail, when they leave the West Coast, they don't travel. Well, nobody travels across the United States and across Europe to get to Japan. They leave from the California coast going due west. That's where they go. And they wind up in Japan and Australia and Asia. But try to get them guys and see NASA, NASA, word NASA means the seed white man lying. He the one. Freemasons came up with the globe theory. Guess who came up with the flat earth? Same folks. Men of Bethlehem, San Diego, Titus 3 and 9. But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law for they are unprofitable and vain. Perfect scripture. And we read it before, but, you know, 
it needed to come out again the spirit wanted it to come out again the earth ain't hanging on nothing bro and the earth is the most high is very complex you're trying to understand the ways of the lord you can't man you just can't the earth is a 360 degree if i'm saying it right it's got depth height breadth everything there's no creation like this man you're trying to explain it. hey the earth is not a damn 2d video game it's not like that man the most high is way too complicated for that way too complicated but whatever you'll never get these people to understand that and really that wasn't their intention anyway to try to understand it's to try to bring confusion so he says here again we're going back to the comment board we get ready to shut it down Gabar explained the four cones of the earth comments all over scripture well we just did it you guys call gms it should be g what a mess he thought that's so funny he got like 12 emojis this brother mr invisible says you are a nut going to everyone that left the comment shows you're crazy he was all over the comment board just answer the question why does the bible say the most high stopped this he said meant to say sun and moon for joshua because dumbass it would have got dark if we wouldn't stop the sun and the moon they're in a cycle you don't understand that how we tell time why does it talk about four corners of the earth we, we explained it the fact of the matter is that gms dog dogma will die out when tahar gabar rhyme lava car all go to croaking their graves a new generation a young generation will come and take over and hijack the truth and teach the word teach the true word that ain't in the scriptures that's not in the scripture that the truth going to get hijacked by a new group. Where you get that from? I'm here to hijack the GMS dogma and correct it like Simon Magnus and Constantine, but in righteousness. I'm here to creep in unaware, but in righteousness. Shut up, man. You ain't made a video in two damn years. The Holy Spirit wax cold on you like that. And you ain't use your voice. This is still coming. Gabar, what you saying? What you saying? I don't know. N.A. Who are you who are you decide and know what will bring someone into the truth of knowing they are Israelites? I am willing to bet that you asked the men from top down. I'm willing to bet that you asked the men from top down the top. I don't know what the hell that opened their eyes to the Israelite truth and they will all say something different. Listen to this. Voodoo is the reason I'm here. Even I'm even here typing right now. Any Haitian who you call Levi in your camp is alive today. And voodoo is another way for saying voodoo. Napoleon was going to wipe us off the face of the earth. None of you so-called other tribes could say that. So he's giving credit to voodoo for uh, Levi not being wiped out. <laughs> Bugged out. Voodoo was the force that let my ancestors fight them back. Why the hell would I turn back on that? You buffoons have no understanding or knowledge of what took place on the island of Anacoana called Ayiti. I guess that's the way you say Haiti. I don't know. I don't know if that's Patois or what. I don't really have knowledge of that. Where were you when the revolution was going down? How about after? We weren't even born yet. Call of my crib, but I did not even give you my number. Nat Turner, Simon Bolivar, Country of Greece too. All I did was give y'all a little nugget to run with. You lost your nuggets a long time ago, my nigga. You just don't know it. You see how bugged out that guy is? Good Lord. Completely through. We done with that. Let's see what we got. We can read. I'm going to read some off the comment board. So y'all see it. Bugged out. Yep. This dude writing level is at a fourth grade level. This is Brother Bakayar, Amanah, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. Man, the most high will destroy the wicked men. This brother got a little info. Good dog, a bar. Samuel Shenton was the founder in 1956 of the International Flat Earth Research Society based in Dover, England. A damn Edomite. He lectured tirelessly on this 
to youth clubs, political and student groups, and during the space race in the 1960s, he was frequently seen on television and the newspapers promoting his views. Weirdos. Weirdos. Through. <laughs> See, them deep demons will get you, man. Them deep demons will get you, have your ass all bugged out. Let me go back on the comment boy and see. Which the brother here had the scripture too. Job 26 and 7. He stretched out the north over the empty place and hangeth the earth upon nothing. And I did I did a live stream uh over a year ago because a guy had left a whole bunch of series of scriptures. Oh, he had left a bunch of series of scriptures, and we went through like every one disproving that stuff. 144 bound to the slaughter. Definition of circle in Isaiah 40, 22, to encircle, encompass, describe a circle, draw around, make a circle. That's the other possible bar brought out. Compass means to go around, man. There's the four corners right there. North, south, east, and west. Four corners of the earth. <laughs> a tabletop. This is what the brother was talking about. GMS in the truth, Orlando, Isaiah 40, 22. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, and stretches out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. And it's no dome over the earth. There's no dome over the earth. It's got talking about. Anyway, Lord willing, it was edifying as it was entertaining. I know it was entertaining, but you know. Brother Bakayar Amanah, 2nd Maccabees 734. But thou, O godless man, and of all other most wicked. Be not lifted up without cause, nor puffed up with uncertain hopes, lifting up thy hand against the servants of power or the most high. Right. But you, you have a lot of people that vaunt themselves. But here it is this guy all over the place. He believes the earth is flat. He believes in voodoo is his savior. Gnosis saves. Just, just weird, man. Just weird. He try to recruit people to come on the comment boards. Probably an agent. It doesn't matter. Woo. Got a possible bar. Proverbs 26 and 12, seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. And that guy is definitely wise in his own conceit. He doesn't know anything. Proverbs 26 and 5, answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. Right. Sometimes we do have to you know, go into stuff and bring this stuff out because these guys, and trust me, every scripture that we went through, they know about them. They've already heard this stuff. They refuse to believe that. They'll still tell you that the earth is sitting on pillars that's being held up, even though the scripture says the earth, most high hang of the earth on nothing. They're still, oh, it's on pillars, it's on pillars, but the scripture says it's Lord, pillars, Lord, pillars. Proverbs 14 and 7, go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. That's why all them comments went unanswered. Because they had a possible Bible like, man, hey, <laughs> Answering all that stuff, you'd be crazy if you try to go through. I we just read them just to get you know something different because I was kind of like you know pissed off with the news for that damn lying story about India. Man, I was like, I ain't I ain't dealing with it right now. House of Morning, Second Peter 3 and 3. Knowing this first, there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Yeah, that dude's a scoffer. And he made a video in two years. I don't give a damn who you are. If you saying you got the Holy Spirit, what's the Holy Spirit doing for two whole years? Why are you just chilling? Jim S. Vegas sit downs, Acts 13 and 10, and said, O full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And the same spirit coming back now, trying to pervert the ways of the Lord. And nobody's listening. That's why I say, man, when when, when bug outs come on the comment board, best thing to do is block their ass, take their power away, and just get rid of their comments. Because that's all they really want. The goal of a scoffer and an agent is to come on your comment board to spread this info, to bother the flock, to get on people's nerves. If you block him and remove his comments, he can't even do the job he was sent to do. He's 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 finished. You see? Finish, man. Yep, that's right, brother. The same devil's created the flat earth. We stick to biblical blueprints, but something that you can't fake the 
You can't fake the scriptures, man, no matter who you are. They can try to take stuff out, do whatever. It's not going to matter. Let's let's get that real quick. This is something that you can't you can't counterfeit the Holy Spirit. Let's see here, brothers. Hold on. I might have the wrong chapter, but let's see. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. But the Most High hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. No matter how many precepts you got, no matter how much you think you know the Bible, no matter how much esoteric, Gnostic, Gnostic, whatever shit you think you know, without the Holy Spirit, is pointless. But the Most High have revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yeah, the deep things of the Most High. And these dumbass Gnostics believe that, as we looked up the definition, they believe that the Bible was given by an inferior creator God. They think they're above the Most High. This dude said the Gnosis saves. What about the Savior? The Savior is the one that's going to save us. What about no damn Gnosis? Your ass is under hypnosis. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of the Most High knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. You got to have that. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual not that carnal shit them guys them guys talk about. But the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. This guy says there's other books other than the Bible. Well, we never said there wasn't other books. We know other books exist. But this is the one the most high spirit dealing with. And this is all we care about. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. See? For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of the anointed. It's all about this book. It ain't got nothing to do with none of the other shit you, you people talking about. This is Brother Amraya, Ecclesiastes 22.13. Talk not much with a fool, and go not to him that hath no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble, and thou should never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest and never be disquieted with madness. And it's completely madness. <laughs> madness. Halak Yasharala, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. That's right. And guys are worrying about Sasquatch and mermaids in the lost city of Atlantis. And the only reason I went to Wikipedia on both of those, just so you can, some stuff that it comes up. The world knows that it's fake. Why would you bring that into the realm of trying to ask, is it true? And the world knows that the shit is fake. That's the easiest way to just, you know, disprove some of that shit. Just go to what the world says about it. Because if it was in the scriptures, believe me, we would go into it. Now, when it comes to things like Leviathan and some of that other stuff that are still mysteries, we know, we know what the scriptures say about it, but we don't know when, where, how. We just know that it, that, that it exists. Bottom line. Okay, here we go. This is stand fast in faith. Ecclesiastes 4.25. And no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thine ignorance. If you really were men of the Lord, the people that ask some of these questions, you would say, man, you know what? Man, I, I'm sorry, man. I, I thought, you know, maybe because it, it, the Atlantis thing, that ain't so bad. But the thing is this. you asking stuff that nobody's teaching. None of the apostles teach about that. If you on our comment boards, you know what Great Millstone teach. That means you got that shit from outside somewhere else and you bringing it back to us. Well, why didn't you ask the people that you heard it from? Obviously, you had doubt about it. But see, Jake do that. Jake come on our comment board and listen to us and then go back and tell the false teachers, them niggas over there saying this and saying that. Is that true? Then you come back to us with this bro and say it ain't true. That's why you need the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is what's going to open up your understanding. Without that, your ass finished, man.
See, Jake want to leave out the spirituality that's involved with the scriptures. The Bible is a completely spiritual book. You can try to self-will yourself, but you ain't going nowhere fast, man. The Lord got to choose you in order for you to understand this stuff. And I ain't, and we ain't trying to say, you know, it's about us. It ain't got nothing to do with us. First John 2, 19, they went out from us, but they were not of us. But if they had been of us, they would, would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. The unction coming from the Holy One, that Holy Spirit, man. This is John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. That guy made about 20 comments. Did he ever utter the name Yahweh Shai? Never. How are you going to stand the book and the mysteries of the Most High without Yahweh Shai? You can't. He got to unlock your understanding. He got to send you the Holy Spirit. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. There it is. But when the come, uh, John 15, 26, but when the comforter is come, whom I will send as you from the father, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the father, he shall testify of me. Yahweh Shai is the one that's conducting the ministry, man, which a lot of these people just can't, they can't even get that. This is Luke 24, verse 44. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. That all things must be fulfilled, which we know the word fulfilled don't just mean, you know, uh, like what Christians think. All things must be fulfilled, accomplished by Yahweh Shah. All the prophecies that were written of him, Isaiah 63, Isaiah 66, right? There's others. Matthew 30, uh, not Matthew, uh, Isaiah 34. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. All in the Old Testament, how shall I have written about? But listen to this. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Your understanding has to be opened by your how shall or you ain't going nowhere, man. So all these guys keep chat, 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 chatting, thinking you're going to understand. You ain't going to understand shit. That dude ain't mentioning you how shy at all. This is a bug out, man. We ain't we ain't dealing with it no more. We dealt with all this ignorance. That's the end. We're gonna leave it right there. Um, I read this brother's scripture. Haraka Shala War, first Corinthians 2 and 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the most high. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. That's right. This right here is not a carnal work. This is completely spiritual, man. Completely spiritual. 144, bow down to slaughter. Daniel 12, 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. The scripture don't talk nowhere about somebody coming in the end to hijack the gospel from all the men that have been doing the work already. The seed's been planted. This this great machine, I don't want to use the word machine, this great dynamo, this uh juggernaut, which is the ministry that's been going throughout the four corners of the earth with all these beautiful brothers pushing the word, it's not gonna be hijacked by the likes of some guy that ain't made a video in two years and the rest of whoever else he can recruit. You can't stop us. Salaka, you can't stop Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai's gospel. You cannot do it. So whatever. Let me just go close out with that. Let's go. Let's go to Acts. We just want to keep on going and going and going, but now we got to shut it down. Ah. Uh. Acts five and thirty-five. I'm just gonna jump in here. Um, 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. 
For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. Let's happily be found even to fight against the Most High. So at the end of the day, we block all these demons so they can leave us the hell alone. If this counsel or this work be not of, of, is not of the Most High, it'll come to naught like yours is. That guy, he said he's done with YouTube. <laughs> A video trying to recruit other scoffers and shit. He ain't made a video in two years. The most high ain't dealing with you, bro. You're done. You're done, baby. And all you Edomites out of you, you, you so-called scholars, all you people, you false prophets, you crazy Israelites that's bugged out to trying to be deep. The Lord is gonna flatten you all. Anyway, we're gonna leave it right there. The so water everybody for joining in. I know it was tedious, but you know that's how it is sometimes. But it was for edification. All right, so the water for all the precepts, for all the comments, for everything, for y'all sitting in there and hanging out. See you again soon with another lesson, Lord willing. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Holy Lake. See you again soon, Lord willing. Shalom.